step is scheduling. <clears throat> you saw John's calendar. Calendars can be deadly unless you can make them both fun and functional. So let's make this disappear. And Kelly's going to help me. Here's the calendar. And I used to really go crazy because I'd write it in and then I'd have to erase it or cross it off and it'd just become a mess. And then I began to, to realize if you just use post-it notes. So the write-ins are things that are never going to change. Post-it notes are things that need to happen. I need to write an article. It's going to take about two hours, so the post-it note's about that big. But if I put it here and then I, I, I get a call for a meeting, I can just pick it up and move it. But I know I can't put it nowhere. So it helps me be reasonable about how much day, time is in the day. Um, that invisible time I mentioned earlier, I got some fun stickers. And to make it fun to calendar, this tells me I've got to have time to travel to the airport. Uh, need to plan some fun in, or you're going to get bored and, and get off on the other foot. Need to plan in time to do exercise. And uh, I found most of all, if I doodled in my calendar, uh, drawing a picture of I was going to go to the woods that weekend. And it mentally reminds me that there's, some, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. And I would encourage you to have something fun in every week. If you don't, again, in your right brain, you're going to wander away from the plan. So pretty soon it began to be a game, and colors had meaning. This color meant something has to come before it or you're going to show up unprepared. Yellow meant I was going to be out of town, and so I had to do things with the family to get ready. If I got too much out of town happening all at once, I was going to be in trouble. Well, <clears throat> let me ask another question. Do you ever get frustrated with all the time you spend waiting? I mean, you got your plan. The doctor's office is a famous place, and you're sitting there, and you're looking at your watch, and you're losing an hour, and you're thinking, Time is money, but it's not just there. You show up for a meeting with a client, and, oh, I'm so sorry we didn't call you and tell you that's been delayed for an hour. Well, one of the tips I learned, again, from my friend Dwayne, is a little traveling baggie of things to get organized with. And so I've got my Post-its. I would have my calendar. I can sit there and do my to-do doing done. I've got cards. I can write a thank you note. I can create a birthday card. I've got stamps. I can... Uh, address them and put them in the mail. In fact, I, I take with me addresses that I need. But by having this, if I'm waiting in an airport, it's a great time to plan. And I begin to discover my best planning happened in the time that used to just get lost because a lot of life seems to be about waiting. <clears throat>